Hi, I'm Nick Fraser from PRS Guitars, and this is ACM. As technical manager for PRS Guitars, my role basically involves maintaining a level of quality control. I oversee a team of four people, technicians, and we set up all the guitars that come through and make sure they're up to scratch. Career background, I guess I've spent 20, 30 years in the business, starting off as a tech and, and just kind of finding my way to where I am at the moment for various distribution companies. During the masterclass, we're going to be focusing on the, the basic guitar setup techniques and looking after your guitar, mainly the truss rod, the nut, the action, fretting, and a few kind of key care issues with guitars just to make them perform at their best. ACM, uh, it's fantastic. It's, it's, there's so much life and vitality here. It's quite kind of inspiring because when you've been in the business for a long, long time, you tend to get a bit jaded and maybe, uh, but it's, it's good to see so many people being creative in a great, great atmosphere. Yeah, it's very impressive. The touch points in setting up a guitar. First of all, we start with the truss rod, uh, then move on to the nut, and then uh, we'll look at the action, um, do an electrics check and a kind of visual check just to check that the, um, the finish is all okay. Um, those are the, the, the key points. PRS stand out from the rest um, mainly in terms of uh, their consistent quality control. They're built to a fantastic standard um, and that way you get consistency across the, the tonal spectrum from one end of the neck to the other. All the notes are going to be spot on. Um, it's going to feel really comfortable in your hand and you can go from one model to the next and you know it's, it's going to be a trustworthy instrument and they're known for being rock solid at tuning as well. So I, I guess those are the main points that stand out for PRS. Oh, which pickups sound most at home in a PRS guitar? That's a tricky one. My, my personal preference at the moment would be 5708 or the HFS Vintage Bass Set. But pickups are continually being developed by, by Paul and the team um, to fit new models and just try and try and make them better all the time. So, you know, it might be those pickups today, but tomorrow it might be whatever he's working on at the moment. The best way to keep your guitar in shape is really um, is to keep everything clean. That's, that's the simplest thing. Keep, keep your nut slots clean, keep your strings clean, your fretboard clean, um, and all the hardware clean, and that will enable everything to sound at its best. You know, dead strings is, is the worst thing and they corrode more easily, so cleanliness is, is the top tip. The top things to look out for when you get a new guitar, uh, to check that the truss rod's okay, check, check for fret buzz, just check every single note. Um, check the intonation, that's another key point. Um, maybe you have a, a, just a little look, look over, check that the finish is okay and there's no obvious cracks, it's unlikely, but you never know. Um, check all the tuners are all functioning okay, all the electrics, um, and if all that's in order, just get on and play it. God, the worst guitar uh, we ever got sent back was probably one uh, where the neck had completely come off. Um, this guy met Paul at some clinic he was doing and Paul had said, yeah, we'll fix that for free, like he kindly does. But actually what he meant was, yeah, the guys at, uh, in the UK, they'll fix that for free. So this guitar arrives and actually it was pretty easy. It was a clean break, so it went on fine, set it up, the guy's happy. But um, other, other ones that spring to mind in terms of bad condition was probably one that belonged to Dan Weller from Sixth, who brought his guitar in covered in blood and said, oh, sorry guys, got a bit carried away last night. Can you sort it out? So we did, we always do. <laughs>